Now canto 1 of the rape of the lock. We are starting from here. And uh, first we will read the first 12 lines which are considered to be the invocation as well as the proposition part. Now uh, let me tell you something about the invocation first and then I'll go through the lines or let me go through the lines first. Even. That is a better option. What dire offense from amorous causes springs? What mighty contests rise from trivial things? I sing this verse to carol, muse is due. This even Belinda may vouchsafe to view. Slight is the subject, but not so the praise. If she inspire, and he approve my lays. Say what strange motive, goddess, could compel a well-bred lord to assault a gentle bell. Bell means beautiful lady. Oh, say what strange cause, yet unexplored, could make a gentle bell reject a lord. That means this gentle bell, she rejected the lord. In tasks so bold, can little men engage, and in soft bosoms dwell such mighty rich. So these are the 12 lines and uh, what dire offense, some offense has been made that we are aware of from amorous causes springs, amorous cause love, amor love causes springs, spring up, what mighty contests rise from trivial things and mighty contests, you know, some uh, uh, sometimes this happens from trivial, trivial means Trifle, trivial means tuchu. To onik shomai, onik chote chote gato na thikhe, onik boro boro shomusha srishti hoy. Am I sounding like Shahrukh Khan? Chote chote gato na thikhe, boro boro gato. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so what mighty contests rise from trivial things? I think, I sing this verse to Carol. So Carol is the muse uh, that uh, Alexander Pope talks about. Is due. This even Belinda may vouchsafe to view, vouchsafe, condescend, vouchsafe to view. Okay. Slight is the subject, but not so the praise. The subject is slight, but the praise is not very slight. If she inspire and he approve my lays. Say what strange motive, what can be the strange motive goddess could compel a well-bred lord to assault a gentle bell. Why did a well-bred lord, he assaulted a gentle bell. Bell, uh, I told, beautiful lady. And could compel, in the previous line, compel means to force of or oblige. Oh, say what stranger cause, yet unexplored, could make a gentle bell reject a lord. In tasks so bold, bold means over here, it is uh, meant adventurous, you know. Can little men engage and in soft bosoms dwell such mighty rage, mighty rage. You know, soft bosom, that means uh, probably the bosom of a lady that is soft, uh, soft hearted. Such mighty rage and such anger, uh, rage means anger. So now let us go to the meaning of these 12 lines. Now they say, abundantly mimicking the traditional classical mode of epic writing, the poet begins his mock epic invoking the muse while proposing that he would sing of dreadful mischief that results from amorous relationships and of inimical battles consequent of even petty things. Now what happened uh, as I prior in my prior class is, uh, when I was going through Paradise Lost I told you people that every epic poem, uh, be it classical or be it a literary epic or primary or secondary epic, everything starts with a conventional uh, invocation part. And here also we can find that the first 12 lines, they are the conventional uh, invocation. They belong to the invocation part. And here the author or the writer is actually invoking the and, and trying to seek the aid of the muse, Carol. Okay, he believes that even uh, now uh, he believes that even Belinda herself may condescend to read the poem, and 
the writer also says that Belinda can also read this poem although the subject or the argument of this poem is slight the subject is very slight uh, or not that uh, you know deep or up to the mark as I, as uh, we can say um, the praise it may earn thank you the praise it may no laguno laguno okay uh, I'm sorry Although the subject of this poem is slight, the praise it may earn would not be insubstantial if Belinda inspires the poem and Carol approves of his song. The poet seeks for wisdom from the muse, as I said earlier, muse means goddess, with regards to that unknown mysterious cause or strange motive, as he said, quote unquote, that could incite a well-bred lord Lord Peter, obviously, P E T R E, Peter, Lord Peter, to commit a heinous act. Actually, the historical character or the basic character is Lord Peter, who is suggested as Lord in this poem. And another uh, personality, uh, the, another character of this poem, Belinda, who is known as, in this poem, who is known as what? Do you know the name? Like in this poem, her name is Belinda. What is the actual name? I told you in the previous class. Answer Chai. Dehi kar mone ache. What is the actual name of Belinda? Sir, I will. Yeah, right. Very good. Thank you. It's Mrs. Arabella for more. Okay, so yeah, so it's Mrs. Arabella for more, and uh, yeah, we can find these two characters. Uh, he desires his inspirational muse to enlighten him about that undiscovered and even more mysterious cause that arched on the gentle beauty to jilt a lord. In the sense of mock heroic discrepancy, the poet expresses his wonder at insignificant small men's daringly accomplishing significantly bold tasks. Bold tasks over here. Bold means adventurous. And at the immensity with which fury dwells within the soft, delicate hearts of beautiful, charming ladies. So, let us go back straight into the poem from the next line so the invocation is done to uh, the muse called Carol and we are now back to the subject matter okay the okay so <clears throat> line 13 Saul through white curtains shot a timorous ray Saul <coughs> S-O-L, uh, if you are following the text, you can see. S-O-L, Sol means sun. Sun, through white cartings, shot a timorous ray. Timorous, timorous means timid. Kub bhito. Okay. Tarmane ekhane kub shamanno shurja lok, shada pardar moddho diye pravesh korche. And opt those eyes, opt means opened, and opt those eyes that must eclipse the day. Notable enough is the capital letter E in front, like uh, when uh, the poet has said eyes. Okay, eyes starts with capital E. Eyes means here some definite eyes. Uh, he is probably uh, pointing towards some base, uh, some definite character over here. That must eclipse the day, and those eyes are so beautiful they can even eclipse or cover the entire day. <coughs> Now lap dogs give themselves the rousing shake. So lap dogs, another characteristic of the then society or uh, the the perspective of the society that they had pets. You know those lap dogs. So they used to lick up and they used to wake up the ladies in the morning and that was the duty. So now lap dogs give themselves the rousing shake and sleepless lovers just at twelve awake. So the sleepless lovers they used to awake right at 12 12 in the morning or at the noon time you know. thrice rung the bell the slipper knocked the ground so the bell rung three times thrice rung the bell 
the slipper knocked the ground that means some uh, some some character who has let her foot on the floor on the slipper the slipper knocked the ground and the pressed watch returned silver sound pressed watch uh, in those times watch as you know uh, you know round watches which had a ticking sort of thing at the um, uh, you know uh, where uh, they could press and the alarm would go on তো পুরোনো দিনে সেই গোল গোল ঘড়ি যেগুলো চেনের মধ্য দিয়ে সবার কোর্টের সাথে আটকানো থাকতো পুরোনো মুভিজে ইউ ক্যান ইফ ইউ ওয়াচ মুভিজ লাইক বোম কেশ বক্সি অর ইভেন দ্য ওল্ড ভার্সনস অফ ইউনো ইফ ইউ ওয়াচ আর্থার কনটেলস শার্ল হোমস দে ইউ ক্যান ফাইন্ড দোজ প্রেসড ওয়াচেস রাউন্ড প্রেসড ওয়াচেস সিলভার সাউন্ড সাউন্ড ক্যান নেভার বি সিলভার দিস ইজ লাইক সিলভার সাউন্ড he has just said uh, to to uh, give out the color of the watch which is silver belinda still her downy pillow pressed belinda was still on her pillow and that pillow is downy d o w n down down means one type of duck okay uh, whose feathers are very soft and in those times uh, the the aristocratic people they used to uh, they used to prepare or rather they used to make their pillows out of that downy uh, you know feathers so that their pillows were very soft so she was still keeping her head on that downy pillow her gorgeous self prolonged the balmy rest twas he had summoned to her silent bed the morning dream that hovered over her head so there was some gorgeous self prolonged the balmy rest what is meaning of balm b a l m balm means some sort of ointment that uh, that uh, releases you from your pain so the same thing over here the gorgeous self his work was to give balm to to those lady to that lady and uh, that lady was enjoying her rest twas he had summoned to her silent bed the morning dream that hovered over her head so some morning dream that was hovering over her head and that was brought by the guardian uh, self or the guardian angel you can also say the morning dream okay a youth more glittering than a birth night ball birth night ball ball means uh, a fop or a dandy sort of person who uh, you know uh, you people have also seen persons who like every girl they come by i mean every single girl they see they fall for uh, that girl and they want to be in relationship with that girl that is a call sir bolchi apnar voice slow slow sonachhe amar voice ebar thik ache ha okay that means i'll have to be more fast fast or you know a bit loud okay so birth night ball sir, ha bol hmm sir ami jantam na je ekhon class hocche ami sorry late hoye geche yeah, that's absolutely fine kono oshubidha nei i am recording this entire session and i will give it on youtube for sure to tahole okay, i guess you people will get a lot of help okay so birth night ball a uh, youth more what was she or belinda seeing in a dream she was seeing a birth night ball who was more glittering than every other youths that even in slumber caused her cheeks to glow so she was having glowing cheeks she saw that birth night ball in her dream and she was completely completely she had fallen for that person same to her ear his winning lips to lay so to her ear that birth night ball came and he start saying something and does in whisper said or seem to say and he said something to her ears what did he say fairest of mortals thou distinguished care of thousand bright inhabitants of air if ever one vision touch thy infant thought of all the nurse and all the priest have taught of airy elves by moonlit shadows seen the silver token and encircled cream or virgins visited by angel powers 
with golden crowns and wreaths of heavenly flowers. So here we can find the character or, or a little bit of a description about uh, the guardian sylph. Fairest of mortals, and he says, you are the fairest of mortals and distinguished care, very attentive, he says to Belinda. Of thousand, thousand more bright inhabitants of air. And who is the inhabitant of air over here? Is the Gurdjian Sylph. So, he is among the thousand bright inhabitants of air. Inhabitant means dweller. If ever one vision, vision means dream. If ever one vision touch thy infant thought. Of all the nurse and all the priests have taught. Of airy elves, elves means small fairies. Of airy elves by moonlit shadows seen. The silver token and the encircled green. In those times, encircled green means it was, uh, it was uh, uh, you know, believed by people that the fairies, they came to this earth to dance and to merrymaking in the nights, moonlit nights, and they used to dance in a circular way. So the green circle, the circled green is a reference to that. The silver token and the circled cream. Or virgins visited by angel powers with golden crowns and wreaths of heavenly flowers. Reed. Reed means around garland. That is meant by reed. Okay. One second. Let me do this. Yep. Okay. So, reed means a round garland sort of thing. With golden crowns and wreaths of heavenly flowers, hear and believe thy own importance know, nor bound thy narrow views to things below. So, uh, some secret truths from learned pride concealed to maids alone and children are revealed. So, there is some secret truth that is only, that is concealed from all others and revealed to only two types of people. One, the maids and another, the children. The children, as they are said, uh, to be the messenger of God and the maid who had, that's something not said over here, we'll find it later, who had their virginity. The maid who had their virginity, they had the secret power sort of thing, you know. So, uh, that society did not uh, believe in having sex, at least before marriage. Okay, uh, what though no credit doubting wits may give? Doubting, doubting wits means skeptical sort of things. So, doubting wits may give, uh, skeptical. The fair and innocent shall still believe. No, then, unnumbered spirits round thee fly, unnumbered, innumerable, many, count, uncountable. The light militia of the lower sky. So they are referred as the light militia of the lower sky. These, though unseen, are ever on the wing. They can never be seen. They are unseen. Then this is the description of the Gurdjian sylph or uh, the Rosicrucian machinery that I was talking about. Hang over the box and hover around the ring. Think what an equipage. Hang over the box. What is the meaning of uh, box over here? Box means the jewelry box, you know. Box and hover round the ring. Hover means fly gently round the ring. Ring. Think what an equipage. Equipage means it's like an escort. Equipage thou hast in air and view with scorn to pages and a cheer. So, you have your companion already in your ear. So, you can look at each and everyone else with scorn, with hatred. Okay. And especially to them and view with scorn, two pages and a cheer. And in those times, there was uh, the tradition of seed and cheer. People used to, uh, 
you know go from one place to another in a palki palki sort of thing they used to carry bamboos uh, on their you know shoulder and a chair was kept in between two persons with two bamboos on both sides and a chair was kept in between a sedan chair sort of thing as now your own our beings were of old and once enclosed in woman's beauteous mold beauteous mold mold and shape then by a soft transition we repair from earthly vehicles to these of air so then by a soft transition okay arektu age jai and once enclosed in woman's beauteous mold so they were these selves they were once women and in the shape of women then by a soft transition they had their transition change in shape change in form change in color whatever that is called transition so, so they transitioned transition we repair from earthly vehicles to these of air so they shed their gross bodies and they become uh, the the earthly uh, sorry unearthly vehicles of the air that all her vanity is at once a dead vanity means pride so a uh, woman must have her own vanity and that was the basic belief of the time that we are talking about so uh, you yeah, have you heard of vanity bag vanity bag a bag to show off your vanity that a woman carries so the term comes from the vani- vanity at, at at once a dead succeeding vanities are still regard so a woman uh, she uh, cherishes her vanity even after she dies and though she plays no more overlooks the curds so after death she cannot any more she cannot uh, like play the cards tash khel khela ar hoy na tar dara so what happens after death she hovers and uh, she 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 keeps an eye on those cards jara khelche tader card er upor tader chok thake her joy in gilded chariots and here comes the characteristic of the then society women ki bolche they had their joy in gilded chariots they used to see at chariots ko tokhon kar dine to ar motor gari chilo na age tokhon jana hoto mane you know uh, you could imagine that a guy or a girl or a family is rich enough by seeing at their chariots ai ka dine chariots chilo horse drawn chariots especially so they used to look at chariots kon gilded chariot theke kon bhalo dekhte sundor chhele namlo ebong take ki kore kabja kora jay that was their basic aim her joy in gilded chariots when alive and love of umber umber o m b r e one type of card game umber after death survives so the love of umber also survives after death for when the fair in all their pride expire to their first elements their souls retire was a christian missionary simple so when the fair fair means a lady in all their pride expire when they expire with their pride within themselves to their first elements so the predominant element uh, you know makes them transits a uh, transition makes their transition to another type of being after death to their first elements their souls retire the sprites of fiery termagants termagant uh, you know um, those are fiery termagants ki bolbo chipkali type of thing in flame mount up and take a salamander's name and those who have fire in them too much of fire in them after death they become salamanders soft yielding minds to water glide away and sip with nims their elemental tea and the women who have too much of softness in themselves and who can uh, who are like water i mean who, whose minds uh, uh, mind is like water who can take any form and any shape of a v- vessel you keep it in so they after death they become nims nims amra banglay jol puri bole thaki but here one type of spirit and uh, they they uh, love their elemental tea i mean their love for tea as i am having tea right now the graver fruit sinks downward to a no graver fruit that means the women of affected modesty 
they sink downward they do not go upward they sink downward and they become a gnome gnome means earthworm sort of thing in search of mischief still on earth to roam and they in search of mischief they roam through this you know all over this earth in the search of mischief the light cockets in sills aloft repair cocket cocket means uh, the ladies who enjoy attraction cocket you can say that is the feminine gender of a fop or a dandy fop fop or d a n d y dandy male personality and cocket c o q u e double t e cocket is a female personality and they enjoy having attraction flirtatious kind of uh, you know beings a loft repair and sport and flutter in the fields of air so the flirtatious women after death they become to be uh, they trans their transition happens and they wow. they become the best element of the air the best element you know uh, and they become the sylphs so can you imagine what was the victorian society like or the society that we are talking about the coquettish people the fops and dandies the flirtatious people as we can say they used to be at the topmost level of the society or oh sorry topmost level of the air and they became sylphs after death so being flirtatious was a good thing in those times no for the yet whoever fair and chest c h a s t e chest means pure chest means virgin one who has one girl who has not yet gone through the hymen rupture that is called a virgin according to them physically virgin no for the yet whoever fair and chest rejects mankind is by some self embraced and if a beautiful fair maiden she is virgin and she still she chooses to reject mankind mankind means uh, not the entire mankind but males so then only she is by self embraced like she finds the guardian shelf uh, ship of a self for spirits freed from mortal laws with ease assume what sexes and what shapes they please and those selves they can assume they can take any shape and any sex i mean he can be mad and can turn himself into a woman and what if what guards the purity of melting maids and uh, what they guard the purity the virginity of the melting maids the maids who are melting who can be easily uh, who can melt easily who can be yielded very easily those maids are protected by silks especially where in courtly balls and midnight masquerades what is the meaning of masquerade masked dance you know uh, a dance where they used to wear mask so uh, the the, the zoro i i i saw some hollywood movie zoro z o double r o the mask of zoro i think movie ta naam chilo so there if you can see those movies then you will understand jim mask dance kake bola hai wo masquerade kake bole safe from the treacherous friend and those ladies were saved from their treacherous vishaj khatok friends the daring spark the glance by day the whisper in the dark and they were saved from the glance by day some some boy was looking at the girl oh my god what beautiful she looks like uh ej nojor shekhan theke বাঁচানো হয়েছিল বাঁচাতো অ্যান্ড দ্য হুইসপার ইন দ্য ডার্ক হুইসপার ইন দ্য ডার্ক ম্যান সাম লাস্টি ফিলিং সেখান থেকেও বাঁচাতো কারা এই গার্জিয়ান ইন চিলড্রেন হোয়েন কাইন্ড লোকেশন ফ্রমস দেয়ার ওয়ার্ম ডিজায়ার্স হোয়েন মিউজিক সফেন্স অ্যান্ড হোয়েন ডান্সিং ফায়ার্স হোয়েন কাইন্ড লোকেশন ফ্রমস ফ্রমস দেয়ার ওয়ার্ম ডিজায়ার্স ইউ নো kind occasion like they had a little bit of drinking and card games and merry making and ball dances and everything else to tokon when they used to become a little bit weak from inside and they had their warm desire sexual desires when music softens and when dancing fire especially with soft music and hard type of dancing 
Tis but their self, the wise celestials know, though honor is the word with men below. So, the girl's honor is saved. As the men see from their naked eyes, the honor is saved by the girl herself, but the honor is actually saved by the self, according to Alexander Pope. Okay, so there are a lot of like uh, you have Dil Bechara and all that. Okay, so Dil Bechara is not a lot of people, but it is not a lot of people, but it is not a lot of people, but it is not a lot of people. Some nymphs there are to conscious of their face for life predestined to the gnomes empress. They swell their prospects and exalt their pride when offers are disdained and love denied. So there are some nymphs. Nymphs man ekane ekane maidens se kotha bola hoyche. Some nymphs there are to conscious of their face and they are very conscious of their face for life predestined. To the gnomes embrace gnomes ekane evil spirits. They swell their prospects and exalt, exalt to raise, exalt their pride when offers are disdained and love denied. Especially when offers are disdained, disdained money dejected, rejected, and love denied. Then gay ideas crowd, gay, gay means happy. Here, gay means happy. Gay ideas crowd the vacant brain, while peers and dukes and all their sweeping train, and gutters, stars, and coronets appear, and in soft sounds your grace salutes their ear. So, uh, the peers and the dukes they come in their sweeping trains, and gutters, stars, and coronets they are totally uh, ornamented. Okay. I am talking about those times when not only the girls but also the boys used to wear a lot of ornaments, you know. So they used to show. Uh, he, now also I see various boys wearing ornaments like aunty, golarhar, hate, you know all this. Ki baju na ki shamusto bole. You can see bracelets, okay. And especially there is a person na in Bollywood. What is his name? Solomon Khan. Uh, sorry, Salman Khan. Oh my God, I can be murdered. Uh, so uh, he also wears a bracelet side sort of thing, which comes out every so, moment. Huh? Yeah, obviously, obviously. No, I st I'm talking about the bracelet that he wears, which comes, which tries to come out at each moment, but he somehow does this and keeps it inside. You know. So, iglu dekhlam bech moja lagi. Rag hoy na moja hi lagi. So they they belong to that Victorian age we are talking about. So the boys used to, you know, show off their gutters, stars, and coronets, whatever. And in soft sounds, your grace salutes their ear. And uh, they used to talk to the girls like your grace. You know, they used to bow down, bow down, and say your grace. Tis this that early taint the female soul, and this can taint the female soul. Taint, corrupt. I mean, a female soul can. Get corrupted by the indulgence of the male souls. Amra ekhon kar dinhe patriarchal society ko ta bhabi. Tale age rozi crucial missionary mothodiya society ke dekha. Ita ki. Ita is quite like anti patriarchal or anti patriarchal mane feministic noy. Let me tell you very clearly. Patriarchal means uh, the the. Um, the men of the society, they are over here, patriarchal. You know, they are over here, the female are over here. Feminism means the equality of the men and women. Feminism means the equality of the men and women. Okay, it's just like that. Feminism means female and male. No, feminism means the equality of the two genders. Two genders, of all the genders of this society. That is feminism. What? What? आमान नेटवर्क तो काटची ना गारंटेड। जब कुछ प्रॉब्लम होती है माने। ऐसा है। आपने आपने हेजी देखा थे माने मुझे शोना आज करना। हमारे हेजी देखा थे। हमारे देखते ए लॉकडाउन के मुद्दे। I have turned into a bad looking person. That's why हमारे हेजी हेजी देखा थे। For sure. And the next thing is, I'll be uploading. I am recording this entire session. Okay. तो आमी ये टा अपलोड कोड देवो यूट्यूब पे। 
তো সেখান থেকে ইউ উইল বি এবল টু লেসন টু ইচ অ্যান্ড এভরিথিং ঠিক আছে ওকে ওকে আচ্ছা সো ইনস্ট্রাক্ট দ্য আইজ অফ ইয়ং টিস দিস দ্যাট অর্লি টেন্ট দ্য ফিমেল সোল সো দ্য ফিমেল সোলস দে ওয়ার টেন্টেড অর করাপ্টেড বাই দ্য মেল পার্সোনালিটিস অফ দ্য সোসাইটি দো দোজ ফিমেল সোলস দে কেপ্ট অন লুকিং অ্যাট দোজ মেল ইউ নো দ্য দ্য পিয়ার্স অ্যান্ড দ্য লর্ডস অফ দ্য সোসাইটি and try to equate or rather to calculate how much wealth they had from their ornamented chariots and then the girls also had a list to themselves j i have rejected 30 men someone said i have rejected 31 men i have rejected 35 and so this was their criteria of beauty or the thing to show off instruct the eyes of young coquettes to roll teach infant chicks a hidden blush to know and little hearts to flutter at a bow so little hearts or the hearts of women those fluttered at a bow now uh, let us go through the meaning i guess you have already um, you understood the meaning so here we find in the this is the very initial part or uh, initial part of canto 1 of the rape of the law here we find first lines 1 to 12 we can find the invocation and proposition next from 13 to 26 we find belinda and her early morning dream she is having some early morning dream and we find that uh, what uh, she is told in the in her year is the entire thing aerial speech so we were having whatever we were reading it's a part of the speech of Ariel. Ariel is telling everything to her. Everything means the Rosicrucian machinery, the elemental sort of thing, how a sylph is created, how a gnome or nymph uh, is created or a salamander is created and how the female souls, they transist to another soul after death. So all these things have been beautifully uh, said by Ariel in his speech and adm admonishment, you know. And this will, uh, the, this aerial speech starts at line 27 and this will end at line 114. Okay, so that is the thing. We will end over here today. Okay, Amra Ekhanta Shish Korbo, our session of uh, this, the rape of the lock. And I will be giving you certain things i'll be sending your pictures in your group acha tale ki ki porlam amra arek bar ami lines onujayi bole di seta hocche line 1 to 12 invocation and proposition line 13 to 26 belinda's early morning dream line 27 to 114 aerial speech and admonishment amra line 90 of the porechi 114 of the amra ekhon of the jai ni Okay, so we'll be going to it the next day. Machinery ni aage thi bole chila. Acha, arakta jinish bole rakhi. Sheta hoche a person called Marshall. M-A-R-T-I-A-L, Marshall. And his name was Valerius Marshallus. Valerius Marshallus. V-A-L-E-R-I-U-S. Valerius Marshallus. M-A-R-T-I-A-L-I-S. This person, he lived in the era of AD 43 to AD 101. He was a Roman satirist and epigrammatist. Epigram, uh, short and pithy statements are called to be epigrams. He was also a finished, uh, like a uh, furnished master of elegant versification. <clears throat> we have find, uh, found his three lines. I was lot polytimus to mar those locks of thine but glad am i to have granted that much to thy prayers so so now uh, i have said this thing marshall i have i have just quoted this thing from my i had a lot of uh, you know uh, footnotes book notes whatever you can say it's your home task to find a connection between this valerius marshallus or marshall and 
रेप अफ द लक बलेक्सान्डर पो एर मध्य कथाय कनेक्शन आज यू उल हाव टू फाइंड इट एटाई हो होम टक्स एंड यू उल हाव टू हमें ह्वाट्सपे प्रत्येक आलदा आलदा पार्सनलिटी टेक्सट कर पेलि कनेक्शन मार्शलर मध्य और पोपर रेप अफ द लकर मध्य सो दिस वज द थिंग फर टूडे नेक्स्ट दिन आप आलोचना करब रेप अफ द लक नहीं